How's it going guys? Hawthorne here and today we're going to be talking about how you can spot a fake off-white belt versus a real one. So if you're thinking on getting this belt in 2021 and you want to be able to verify on your own that the off-white you have is legit, then this video is definitely going to help. If you guys don't already know, my name is Hawthorne and I make fashion and life coaching YouTube related content. So if looking good and leading a happier and healthier life is something you're into, be sure to subscribe. But with that, let's get straight into the video. So if you guys know, the off-white belt, even in 2021, is still reaching popularity, especially when it comes to discounted sites like StockX. And while StockX does say that they verify to make sure that the products they're sending you are legitimate, it's always good to rely on your own instincts, but also your own knowledge so that you know by your own wisdom that what you're getting is 100% legit. And luckily with the off-white belt, there's so many different ways to spot a rule from a fake one that it only takes a couple of tests for you to really determine whether what you have is legit or completely fake. And the first thing that you're gonna notice is the red stitching. When it comes to the red stitching on a real off-white belt, you're gonna see consistent lines. When it comes to a lot of the fakes, what you're gonna notice is that some lines are gonna be thicker than others. When it comes to the red stitching on any of the black letters, you're gonna notice that the stitching is a lot more thick. And then when you go to the yellow part of the belt, they're gonna get a lot more thin. And this is true for many cheap replicas of the off-white belt, especially because a lot of these that are sold on eBay all come from the same manufacturers over in China. So you're really able to get a really quick impression on whether what you have is legit or not by looking at the quality of the stitching. On top of that, another thing you wanna check is the spacing between the letters, especially where it says weight securing system. You wanna have a consistent spacing between all the letters. There shouldn't be any awkward spacing, especially I see this a lot in the N and the G. That is the quickest telltale sign because again, a lot of these come from the same factories and the N and the G always have this weird spacing to them and it's a really big giveaway that what you have is fake and it's not a real off-white belt but also just look at the overall spacing and everything else and make sure that that looks consistent again when it comes to off-white this is a luxury brand and what they're giving you is based on quality and they are sure to make sure that the spacing is all going to be consistent the stitching is going to be consistent so if you want to know whether what you have is real or not ask yourself does this be quality is this something that a luxury brand would put their name on or does this look sloppy it's messy work and it looks like it was rushed now another key detail is going to be the color and despite what i used to think the color is actually not matte in person before i used to think that the off-white belt was this matte finish and that the fake ones had that shiny gold tint to it however looking at it this actually does have some gold hues especially when you look at it it has almost this like dark gold type of effect however a lot of the cheap ones they almost have this like green tint to it and it's just this really ugly swamp green now when it comes to the color if you've never actually seen an off-white belt in person it is going to be kind of hard to tell because even with the footage that i'm including it's going to be different between what screen you're looking at and the lighting in this room etc However, what I will say is that any tingy kind of highlighter yellow is not a real off-white belt. It should be just a solid gold looking sheen. There shouldn't be any type of green tints. Now let's go ahead and talk about the buckle, especially looking at the hinge. When it comes to the real off-white belt, what you're gonna notice is that the hinge right back here, there should be three of them. A lot of the fakes will come with four. And when I mean three, that's not including the first hinge that actually secures it to the buckle. I'm talking about the ones that come afterwards. There should be three hinges. If you see four hinges, that means it's fake. Also look at the direction on which the loops start going through the hinge. It should be this exact type of specification. If the hinges are placed in any other way, then what you have is a fake. Now, luckily, Off-White Belt does actually include a QR code for you guys to check whether the belt is legit or not. So when in doubt, make sure that you check the QR code. Now, if you do have a really well-made, high-quality fake, then this might be something that they're able to get away with. But again, it's just another way for you to verify whether it's real or not. And on top of that, again, I'll be putting videos of the actual tags and the color of the QR code and everything else so you guys can really start to compare eye to eye what it looks like. However, again, I don't want to get too specific on the type of shade the QR code is just because it all depends on, you know, the computer that you're looking at it through and the way that the lighting is set up in my room. So 
that's not really going to be such a clear indication now when in doubt especially if you're going to be buying off of a secondhand seller make sure to ask for paperwork this is one of the ways that you can really verify if it's real or not is that do they have the receipts and when you buy the belt ask if it comes with the original box because if they have the original box full with all the paperwork then obviously you can almost be guaranteed that what you're buying is legit now that's not to say that if they don't have the receipt and if they don't have the box it's not a real off white belt because they could have also just bought it from another seller that you know threw the items away or obviously they got the receipt through email so they're not going to have it but again when you ask this it's almost just lessening the chance that you're going to be buying a fake off white belt all right guys hopefully this helped you out it's a bit of a short video but i know that my off-white videos have been getting a lot of views which means that people are still buying this belt and trying to get a good deal off of it and i don't want you guys running into the mistake of just spending a lot of money on a belt that's not even legit if you guys do have any other tips when it comes to verifying the authenticity of an off-white belt make sure to put it down in the comment section i know that it sucks whenever you feel like you got your hands on something legit only to later find out that you've been scammed and so if you have any other things that i didn't mention leave it down there it might help someone out and save them 100 to 150 dollars when getting this belt in the second hand market also even if you're buying from StockX, make sure you do your research verify it keep in mind that it's your money on the line not theirs because you have invested in this product whereas they're just kind of going through a line and just quickly scanning it and trying to get on with their day all right if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe but with that thank you so much for watching stay stylish and stay humble